Welcome back, fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 here with my continuing playthrough of Hearts of Iron 4 with Man the Guns DLC. Okay, still not playing the modded game, though the Black Ice team is coming, is doing more and more work to get theirs doing. We're going to try to evacuate the Rome pocket here and leave the Americans to either evacuate or die. Looks like the, and this has turned out to be a complete mess, but, um, looks like the Americans are getting ready to invade Spain, and that would be lovely. Um, maybe some more invasions of Italy. So we're going to see how all that goes. And, of course, currently, um, Japan is basically a dead issue for this game. They've been defeated on the mainland with the Soviet invasion. But the Soviets have been pushed back because they pulled so much forces over here to take out Japan. So I think that's part of their problem. Not all of their problem, but... as we can in one go, taking most of our ships. No, nope, you're wanting to walk. No, 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 don't do that. That's part of the reason I guess I was... Oh. Okay, hold out just long enough. You can evacuate. Come on, come on, come on. I messed that up. I almost had this. Oh, okay. Well, you attack here. That will pressure them a bit. Okay, yes. Now go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Sorry, Americans. Okay, Royal Tank Regiment. National focus is done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so the war fair now. Um, hold the Imperial Conference. Back political power. Not sure if that's what we want to do or not. Amphibious technology would be nice, and we have the ability to build more factories, and we're going to build more military factories where we can. Okay, what army do we want to move over to 
here. I guess we'll send these guys over to Toronto. Yes, if Russia does fall, that very well could be a, a serious problem. Um, even with Japan, at least mostly defeated on the mainland, they have their own Pusin perimeter. Okay, guys, oh, well, you're being left behind. Come on. Crush these guys all the way to here. March, march, march. So you have done the Indian autonomy focus and have max relations with all of your subject colonies and have a big stockpile of political power. Okay, great. Thanks for the comment. Thanks. I won't do that. At least not anytime soon. You guys come down to Morocco, help the Americans out once they come into Spain. We can re get Gibraltar. Sixteen divisions. too many in one spot so let's grab these three and move them to there help come this way to there yes you're right I need more fuel thanks Okay, um, current consumption is just a little more than our daily gain. So, let's come to fuel, America, one, two. Concentrated industry, great. Now we have these. Um, where are you? Go to, okay. Clear those out. Oh, where? This over in. Here or no?
Hello, Lou Bankin. How you doing? Sure. Ask any questions you like. We'll see what we can an how well we can answer them. We're just not putting enough units into the battle at one time. So you can see, I saw that last thing. We were mostly held in reserve. Okay. Um, let's move you under Monty. Okay, so I have two U.S. separate fleets under the same task force. I am somehow unable to separate them. It is like I put two standard armies in an army group, and now um, how to separate them? How do I do this? Okay, it's yeah, they've done different mechanics. How do I detach naval task force from higher tier groups? Basically, army from an army group. Thanks. Sure, no problem. Okay. Um, oh, pause. We can pause while we do this. You come here. Um, basically what you want to do, as you can see here, um, it's getting really complicated. I mean, it's hard to separate it. So what I do is, um, you can come down here and just create a new theater if you want, and then, um, add in, say, a unit here, or you can just move this. See, so I've just, well, no, let's see. Um, okay, here you can attach, you click to like in British Theater 3, you can rename it Mediterranean or Pacific or however you want to keep a track. Now, if you move this and click here, um, right click here, it'll become a sub um, task force of that fleet. But if you click, right click up here, on the theater list, it'll be its own um, fleet now, not a task force of a fleet. I'm going to put it back to um, you assign all the task force of the United Kingdom fleet. Uh, yes, okay. Yeah, so now he's back to there. But so you just pick one of these. Um, obviously, the anchor is the fleet. The tridents are the task force. You can have, I, you know, how many? I don't know if there's an upper limit and how many they can command. And so you just um, do that. Um, so if you want to, I like the new mechanic. I think the new mechanic is really good, but the new mechanic can be a bit frustrating. Um, so you need to know when and how to separate things. So if you're going to say, um, want to do, um, say submarine operations here, but you don't want to do surface naval operations, you need to move your sub fleets, your sub task forces into its own fleet. Because otherwise, if you designate to operate in a sea zone, all elements of that fleet will operate in that C zone. So how do I get to the theater bar? Okay, well, um, click on the anchor. So here down in the lower right, you have the infantryman for the land. 
you get the anchor bar for the fleet. Sure, no problem, IKB. And so then um, here, and then you can just scroll down, because I have a lot here, um, to the different theaters. Um, and there is a create a new theater. Um, don't know if there's an upper limit to all of this, but um, and you can collapse or show these. Um, so select that, select what you want to do, and select the unit that you want to move to a new theater if it doesn't exist. Um, so, and then this new theater bar comes up here. Sure, Loveland can. I guess that's how you pronounce that. And so you need to figure that out. Now, And I, if you look earlier in this series, you can see me going into even more detail on some of this. It's really good. You want to say, patrolling uses a lot of fuel, and it really did historically. Um, so you want to put your light forces out patrolling, and then your heavy forces out as a strike force. So you're like a bunch of destroyers out there to patrol one or more sea zones. You can sp spread them out to multiple sea zones. And then you have in port your battleship group, your carrier group, or something like that as a strike force. So the patrol will find an enemy, sort of start a battle, and then the task force will sail out of the port to engage and take them on. So that is really key. Or otherwise, if you have all these guys out patrolling, they'll just eat your fuel up very fast. Convoy rating the same. It's going to eat up your fuel. Um, but so you want to put submarines or destroyers or just a few, you know, your Scharnhorst or your um, Graspe out hunting, you know, convoys. Um, convoy escort. Again, it's probably better because it's going to use a lot of fuel use your light forces um because you're if you're mostly going after submarines now if you think you have um big battle fleet out there you will want to use your heavy forces mine laying mine sweeping if the type of ships have either mine laying mine sweeping and naval invasion support which will go along and escort your invasion so it's a really good mechanic to to have i'm still far from perfect at using it um But so you just have to do it. Takes more um, time to organize the stuff up, but no reason to rush. Play the game at the speed, you know, at whatever speed. Okay. I'm going to raise it. Well, let's see what we can do. What about that?
And they've pushed me back to there already. Uh, Well, good. Hey, KB. We're going to be doing Railway Empire tomorrow is current plan, like we talked about earlier, IKB, not today. So if you have something else you sort of want to go do, you can go do that. Okay, okay, from colony to dominion or Yeah, okay, we'll do some of that. Let's come over here. Um, <clears throat> uh, um, here, oh, here, yeah, okay, um, is that synthetic or is that, that's synthetic, yeah, we'll go with synthetic in the, um, uh, fuel depots, and we can come with this one here, similarly, Don't have any heavy fighters. Good idea. I'm doing night bombing. So, um, that's why I think I'm sort of getting away with it without any fighter escort. Fuel refining, which will help us um, with our fuel problem, and we'll do more of that. No, it's a good suggestion. Um, heavy fighters for long range, long range escort is the way to do that. Right now, I'm just trying to catch up with needed production on things like infantry equipment and artillery and anti tank. We got more forces over here ready to come up, but I just don't know where. I don't know if I want to stick more into. Oh, hell. Counterattack there. It looks like we're going to lose this pocket here. We can't even hold here. We got some Indian divisions, American armor, amphibious warfare. Good. Well, 
this will help. Well, I don't know that AT guns are the, the issue. We are currently producing the best we, we can. Doesn't mean we can't research better guns, but um, which yes we can, but uh, don't know if that's the issue. But we'll we'll see about researching some of these as soon as we can. We get a free slot. Well, I'm producing the newest guns that I currently researched. I'm just sort of waiting for the Americans to do some more invasions somewhere and follow along with them. The Germans are pushing deeper and deeper into the Soviet Union. The Japanese have done another invasion over here, it looks like. I don't know right offhand. Um, six pounder. I'm gonna guess 57 millimeter. I don't know if somebody knows they could answer that or look that up. I don't know the British pounder system, which is really freaking screwy. By the time you get to World War II, because I understand it in the 18th century, because a six pounder round is six pounds. 40 millimeter. Okay, thanks, patriotic Britain. But by the time you get to the 20th century, no, well, that's a two pounder. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I was right. 57. Right now, quite honestly, I really, other than doing another stupid invasion and getting another bunch of forces cut off, I don't know what to do. So I'm waiting for... I don't need to reduce Australia to a colony. Mass bomber formations. But yeah, we will come over here and... I think artillery first. <coughs> Excuse me, let me grab a Coke here. Hmm. FN AF helper? Sorry. The Balkan strategy, yeah, um, we really didn't go down that path over here um, yet. Um, we haven't protected, we haven't done to protect Suez. Um, yeah, we might do that soon. Um, We're doing some air armament for bomber command, but that's a good good thing. I'll just call you helper. Sorry. F N F. Try to coerce Turkey. Okay, we'll see what we can do with that maybe too. Because we have successfully won the naval war, basically. 
as you can see here in the Mediterranean. I mean, we're not, we're not, I'm not saying we don't have losses, but we're not being invaded. They've done that. We've doing okay for the naval war against the, the Japanese. Okay, helper. Yeah, that's fine. I just don't want to do another invasion. So we're letting the clock go, watching the Soviets lose territory. And the Germans are getting closer and closer to Moscow. I think most of the forces in here, I'm guessing, are German and not Hungarian. But maybe they get, after getting all that territory, they have enough manpower and production facilities to produce things. I don't know. Well, I'm not sure when we'll get to a country like Yugoslavia. Um, I just don't know. Come on, trigger some of your invasions here, America. Go into Spain. I'll follow you in once you get there, but I'm not strong enough to lead the way. We might have been able to hold the Rome pocket, but that's only a might have. Obviously, the Americans couldn't without my support. And I couldn't without their support either, but... Okay, better anti-tank. Tank upgrades. Yeah, that would be the thing, to try to see how long we could hold out as Yugoslavia. Tried it with Poland and not lasted very long um fact, quite honestly oh communists relent due to the soviet union and our ourselves being at war with a common en enemy they seem to have toned down their support for our domestic communist parties very good so a war with national defense for yugoslavia might be something to try Let's see if we can turn this around on them and push. Mm, not very far, not very good. It looks like maybe the Americans are invading. Maybe. Okay, here. We'll get ashore, guys. Then I'll move some of these divisions into support. Let's take a quick look down here. No significant action. I've got to worry about.
So that invasion didn't work out. At least they didn't get ashore in any strength. Okay, more factories. And um, excavation level five, which will help us with oil and things, which we're doing fairly well with right now. Has Moscow fallen? Not yet, but they're getting close. And they're on the outskirts, uh, well, very close to the outskirts of Leningrad. Well, I don't know that AA is really our problem right now. We can take a quick look at the Air Force here. Well, it's yellow here. Let's see, we could add uh, some fighters. No, we don't want that many. Let's just, let's just go with 200. Deploy up over here. Go after fighters and bombers. If I mentioned how much I hate the air base and provincial command zones mechanic. See, we can be like the Americans and not need AA because, I mean, we. one of the reasons I do have AA in my units here is well of course we can be attacked from the air that's part of the reason but by having this we can see defense increases breakthrough soft and hard attack increases and that stuff so it does help on in ground action but I don't know that you know I don't have a lot of extra equipment to throw into more these things but I think this is a reasonably good division so I don't think our division template is the problem. Oh, oh, hey, frog guys. Oh, down here you're talking about. Yeah, we've attacked several times, and it's sort of Spain's little colony down here that we, um, I sort of forgot about, quite honestly, but we were messing with earlier. Spain is in the war against us. Okay, you're thinking, um, okay, let's do protect Suez. Yeah, like we just attacked, it's, it's a bit of a mess down here. Armor divisions might help, so you can come down and. Well, we're already. I think we're just overstressed from the, the desert as it is. So I'm going to move you guys up here. I'm just going to let that sit out there and suffer. Hmm. 
Mm, okay. Well, I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for liking the videos. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And of course, I really love hearing from you. So please post questions, comments, suggestions. See you next time for more Hearts of Iron. And guys, I think we're going to end the stream just a little early today. Um, sort of tired and things. Um, but we will be streaming live tomorrow starting 7 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time on YouTube. So the YouTube channel, if you want to um, catch the stream there, we will be playing some custom battle um, War Thunder. And of course, you're all invited to play along with me um, or watch the fun as we... Um, choose up sides and play against each other so that and of course on thursday uh, most likely we will be doing strategic command um on the slytherines twitch channel so you can find me over there so thanks everyone it's been really fun it was really fun playing with you guys earlier with the war thunder but i wanted to get some of this in as well thanks everyone